Pilot Maury Rosenberg is tasked with flying over the DMZ. Most of the missions were uh, through the DMZ, where we would make anywhere from uh, three to as many as four passes, uh, east to west, west to east, etc. Uh, that's looking good. Looking real good. The plane carries equipment uh, to warn nice. of enemy radar activity. Nothing yet. Rosenberg and his reconnaissance specialist, Ed McKim, complete two passes without the monitor lighting up. Okay, again, uh, we're going around one more pass. Uh, keep calling the shots for me, okay? Okay, skip, looking good. Then, on their final run home, Ed McKim's monitor picks up an enemy radar lock signal. Oh, wait a minute, I got a trace here. What do you got, buddy? Yeah, just checking on that. It's what SR-71 crews call getting painted. We were on our last pass, and Ed was an old pro by now. So when the sight locked on, he was in a relatively calm voice, and he said, oh, they're looking at us. They're painting us. OK, yeah, we've been painted. OK, that's no problem. They do that all the time. They've been spotted. The North Koreans haven't fired on a spy plane yet, but they do sometimes fake a signal to make the crew think they're under missile attack. Uh, wait a minute, I got something. And as we're progressing, he says, oh. he said they've simulated a missile launch. Yeah, we have a launch, we have a simulated launch. Got me simulated launch. Simulated Accustomed launch. to fake launch signals, the crew aren't concerned. They only need to worry if the missile responds, which means it's in the air and on its way. Okay, it's all good, it's all good. And I started taking a peek over the nose of the airplane. And then in a uh, higher voice and a little higher pitch, I hear Ed said, oh my god, the missile answered. <laughs> missile is answered. Missile is answered. We have a live missile. Live missile. Copy that. Live missile climbing on your right hand side. I don't see it. A radar guided surface to air missile is racing through the air at 1,500 miles an hour. Still climbing. OK, I see it visual. About that time is when I actually had picked the missile up. I would guess that it was in the neighborhood of 40 to 50,000 feet already. All pilot Rosenberg can do is try to outmaneuver the missile, but he doesn't have the agility of a fighter jet. Once I had a good visual and I could see it, and as we started to turn, I could see the missile didn't change course. Contrails out. Yes, she's gone. Missile exploded. 